going to visit a nest site where birds were certainly had hatched this day last week and it's been about one day old and what's interesting about these birds is they nest very early they hatched eight days ago there's four eggs uh, the average population uh, lays its eggs on Patrick's Day 17 to 18th of March and we've been monitoring the timing of breeding for the species over the period um, and you know the reason we're doing that is because we know that these birds respond to climate change uh, and this is the only species in Ireland where we have sufficient data on its breeding biology to show a climate change effect and you know what does that effect that effect means that these birds are laying their eggs earlier and the chicks are hatching earlier than they would have 20 years ago the reason for that is that the birds are matching the food supply that's available in the river so they can feed their young at the time when most food is available so birds have to synchronize their feeding with the food supply so as the food supply has shift, shifted in response to climate change in particular the warming temperatures of the recent decade then the birds food supply shifts and these birds respond to it we call this phenotypic plasticity so the birds are plastic or flexible enough to respond to that short term of change now clearly if things get really tough and the shift is so great that actually the birds will not be able to respond uh, therefore they either become extinct or they evolve and the evolution would mean that they lay even earlier and um, you know some years ago we had the extraordinary situation on the University College Cork campus where a blackbird laid, laid its eggs in December um, it's a freak event in some sense but obviously that's the way evolution actually works you get a single individual or a small population responding slightly differently and then suddenly the whole population shifts so as climate change starts to kick in it's possible that you will get a shift in the timing of breeding of these species so what we've been doing for the last 20 years is visiting and looking at about 60 nest sites in the Cork area so from West Cork as we're going to today near Corraheen to North Cork near the Ireland Valley in Tramoy to West, West Waterford East Cork near Yall into the various rivers where we visit these birds at their nests uh, we examine the nests when they lay their first eggs under license we capture the birds we ring them give them a unique ring which has got a unique code on it and then we can measure each chick and we can start to track its life history. Ah, he's a beauty, isn't he? <laughs> Why you get a haircut like that? Is the adult bird calling? We've been visiting this nest site for over 20 years, so probably four or five generations of dippers of adult birds have been in and out of this nest site. They live about four or five years old, the adult birds. Actually there's a, a ring number and there's an address on it and you can just simply send this on the address and the ring number and, and people will get information of the bird that we've ringed today, its weight and they'll know its age. So it's quite a really useful data set. And that's how we, when we recapture these birds at night, we can identify individuals and see how long they live. It would be unusual for somebody to find a dead dipper because they obviously get washed away in the, in the river. But occasionally they do turn up, um, either by other ringers or people capturing birds. It's 21.1. I see that big flange here is to stimulate the adult. So when she comes in and she sees that big beak open, she feeds it really well, or he feeds it. Both birds, adult males and females. You can see there's no feathers growing yet, but the dark region here is where the feather track, what we call feather tracks are, so actually where the feathers actually ultimately grow on the bird. A uh, big pot belly on them, absolutely cracker. I'm going to put him back now because he's going to start getting cold. We'll put him back with the siblings, okay? Good. No, that's it. Good. 